Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another shopping style video slash haul at the end of the video if I decide to buy anything, which I probably will because it's just been payday and I just can't help myself. <laughs> I'm going shopping with mum today. We're going to head to Neptune, Dunelm, probably home since because they're quite near each other in like our local town and we're also going to go for lunch as well to this cute little cafe so i will vlog that as well i'm really excited to go to neptune to see all their spring styling and i'm probably going to have to get something in neptune because i want the new green quince i think it's called i want the new quince colored bag to pop in my home somewhere as it's quite a nice green for spring and i just feel like it'll go with all my spring pieces and spring flowers really nicely so yeah i'll definitely have to get something in neptune <laughs> the weather's gone down to like six degrees again and i just don't know what to wear so I decided to go for a little black t-shirt and I've gone for the little floaty lemon maxi skirt and I'm just going to pop my black converse on with it and maybe like the long skirt will keep my legs warm and I'll just have to be cold on top. So I thought I would just do a little mirror shot as well please excuse the state of the house if you can see some things behind but I've not had a chance to do like a proper tidy up yet and um, that's my job for this weekend but here is a little cute skirt and black top and I've just got some black converse with it as well just for like a nice relaxed but still cute and girly look. So we've just had some lunch at a little cafe in our town called The Hideout and it was really nice. We both had soup and crusty bread. What are you looking for? <laughs> <laughs> My glasses. <laughs> and now we're on our way to Neptune.
everyone, I'm back home now and it's literally 10 past 6 and we don't know where the time has gone today. It's still really bright outside obviously so you just lose track of time as it's like leading to spring you don't realise that it's actually late because it's so bright outside. Mum and I are really tired, we went to Neptune, HomeSense, TK Maxx and Dunelm and mainly my things that I picked up were from Neptune. So I got a few bits from Neptune which I will show you in a little bit. I'm really excited about the things that I got from Neptune. I also got some little placemats, like napkin things from HomeSense that my mum actually bought. She bought the pack of four and she's kept two and now I'm gonna keep two. And I also got some faux flowers from Dunham because I'm doing a little like challenge collab thing with one of my friends on Instagram, which I will reveal more over on my Instagram when it's time to do the collab. So I might not show the flowers today as I want to keep it a secret for when we do the thing on Instagram, if you know what I mean. So let's do a little Neptune haul. If you were watching the walk around earlier on in the video you will have seen that one of the showrooms at Neptune the fireplace was painted in this new quince colour and it's very out there and I don't think I would have it personally in my home but I did think it looked really nice and it looked really good against like the pale neutral couches and all the other neutral decor pieces that they had in there. So yeah I am a fan of the new quince colour especially in the bag I think the bag goes really nicely with all that like, spring decor that's going on at the minute but whether I'd be brave enough to have a full wall in the quince colour, I don't know. I'll unbox everything and show you what I picked up. So you will have seen poking out of the top of the bag, I got a little olive stem and this is really full for one stem. I think one stem was nine pounds. I think it looks really full. Obviously one stem comes with three different, oh it's in my hair as always, three different branches coming off it. And I think the leaves look really real as well. And it's not like that plasticky fake green that I don't really like. It's quite a nice like muted green, which I think looks more realistic. So I got this olive branch to go in the tall Carinian vase like the jug, which I've wanted for so long and I've never seen it in the actual store before. They're always out of stock, but I saw it today and I just had to get it. And they had it styled with this olive branch in one of the kitchens and they just looked really nice together. So I decided to get them both. So this is the small white Carinium jug. They do it in a larger one as well, but I thought this smaller one was a really good size actually, and it was 18 pound. And I know like Neptune have increased their prices and things and, yeah, it's a little bit annoying, but for £80 for a lovely jug like this, I didn't think it was too bad. So what I'm going to do is pop the branch in there and maybe just like stuff a few bits of tissue paper or anything down there to keep it upright. And I just think it looks really nice, just like one stem looks quite full in this jug. I just think it looks really nice and very like modern country vibes, looks lovely in a country kitchen. They had it displayed in a kitchen and I thought it looked really lovely. So yeah, I'm really happy with those two little pieces styled together. I also picked up another cute little plant pot. I've got one on my windowsill. You can't see it because I put the bag there. I've got like a bigger one on my windowsill in like a grey, like matte kind of concrete effect but I've been looking at this one for a while now and I think it's really cute and rustic. I'm loving the rustic vibes at the minute so I thought I would get it. This is the rosemary pot in small in the dove grey colour and I like how it's got this like beading across the top but I just really like the rustic effect of it so I'll probably just keep this like as an ornament, maybe not even put anything inside it. I just think it looks really nice on its own. So yeah, really happy with my cute little pot. By the way, this was £12 so I think these have gone up a little bit actually but not like bank breaking, so not too bad. I also got a new bar of soap for decoration purposes only. No one is allowed to wash their hands with this soap. And this was £10 and I just really like the colour of it. I just think it will look really lovely in our downstairs bathroom, styled with a few other pieces that I've got in the bag. I'm really excited to show you what else I've got for the bathroom. I'm really loving the greens at the minute, the sage greens, like the quince greens. I just think green and white and neutral, it's just such a nice colour palette for spring. So I decided to go for the green soap, the English fig soap. I have got another soap with a white wrapper, but I went with the green one for today and I've also got another few bits in the bag still that are like bathroom related, which I'll show you now and I'm gonna style them all together. Next is this bowl. It's an absolutely gorgeous colour. It's like two-tone, like neutral and like a greeny, greyy, sagey, grey colour. It's a really, really pretty colour. 
and it's actually a cereal bowl so you can get like the whole set you can get like the bowls and the little cups and everything but I just got the one bowl and what I'm gonna do is pop down a napkin so these are the napkins from home sense by the way they're really really pretty they're just like grey linen with like a little bit of detail there I'm just gonna like fold that in like a slouchy kind of way pop the bowl on top and then pop some soap inside and I just think it will look really lovely and rustic and like modern country vibes in the downstairs toilet so I'll definitely be popping a picture of that on Instagram when I've got that styled up but it just looks so lovely in the Neptune showroom so I wanted to copy the idea. How nicely do all the colours go together? I just really like how it looks so yeah no doubt I'll be posting a picture of that within the next week or so. So yeah it might seem silly buying a cereal bowl to put in a bathroom but I don't know I just thought it worked and the colours are really lovely and I think it just works with the whole vibe so yeah let me know what you think about the cereal bowl decorative piece in a bathroom <laughs> and then lastly from Neptune I'll just open it up so you can see I got a mini set of the English fig like the hand soap and the hand cream and I just thought like against the new bowl and the new soap I just thought the colours worked really really nicely together so again as you can see they've got the sage green colouring which I really love the sage green label and obviously that amber glass which we all know is a favourite of mine I've got amber glass everywhere in my home and I just thought they would work really well against the soap they would work really well with the bowl and the napkin and I just think the whole vibe would look really lovely and modern country vibes I know I keep saying that but that's just the vibe that I really love to go for in my home and I just think everything together will look really lovely. So that's the end of today's video everyone. I hope you enjoyed seeing what was in the shops and seeing which bits I picked up as well. I really love recording these types of videos probably just because I'm a shopaholic and I love to go shopping and buy new things but yeah I would really love to know what you thought of today's video. Please leave a like and a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already and because it's the Easter holidays right now you may have noticed that this video is up on a Wednesday and not my usual Sunday so because it's Easter holidays I'm going to try and do two videos a week just to create a bit more content while I've got the time because I do really love making videos for YouTube so I hope you're enjoying the extra content at the minute. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. My subscribers seem to be going a little bit wild at the minute, which is really amazing. I think I'm on 1.2 right now, which I'm really, really grateful for. So thank you so much if you subscribe and please consider doing so if you don't already. Thanks so much for watching everyone and I will see you in a few days on my usual Sunday upload with a new homeware haul video. Bye!